Hey y'all, I'm back today with a 21 questions. I'm by myself today. So um let's see what these questions y'all sent me got going on. Number one, should parents be held accountable when their children commit a crime? Hell no. What the fuck my child do outside of the house? That has nothing to do with me. I did my part on um, raising him. Now, if he choose to go out there and be a wild ass child, that's on him after he done got grown and got at my house. So no, I don't feel like a parent should be held accountable for things that their child do, no. Number two. Are you the ex that your ex can call when they going through it? No, I'm not. Me and none of my exes don't even keep in contact with each other. They might be my friend on Facebook, but no, I am not that motherfucker that they can call when they going through something. Cause guess what? Bitch, I'm glad you're going through it. Cause you probably took me through the same motherfucking thing. Number three, what have you done to get out of a date going bad? told them to take me home. And if they go to ask them, why, why you ready to go home? Just take me home. And then I get very aggressive. And then they see that I'm not playing and they take me home. The fuck? Number four, what bottle gets you straight to the point? Um, I'll say, Cause any liquor that I drink gonna get me to the point, but I'm just gonna say Casamigos cause that's my thing right now. Number five, do you think long distance relationships can work? Yes, they can. I've been in a long distance relationship before. Um, it worked for a little while, <laughs> but it takes two, it takes two. So I still feel like relation, long distance relationships can work. It just have to be both of y'all committed to whatever consists of making that relationship grow, you know, since y'all far away or whatever. Number six, do women stop their homegirls from cheating on their nigga? Yes, we do. I know I'm one of them. If I know my friend dating somebody and they're a good person, I do. I be like, don't do them like that. You know what I'm saying? But you never know what's going on behind closed doors. But yes, in my eyes, if I see that they person is good, I do tell them, like, don't do that. Number seven, why do side chicks know how to treat a guy better than the woman he with? Because a side chick gonna listen and then she's seeing the things that you're doing for your main bitch. So she thinking, oh, this nigga gonna do it for me. And we got to understand that every nigga ain't gonna treat every woman the same what he doing for his woman at home he might not do it for you but at the same time side chicks make it so easy because they're doing everything in their power to get that nigga to leave that bitch to be with them number eight what's the simplest thing someone can do to impress you i'm very grateful so, and I'm very simple. So it don't take a lot to please me. So any little thing someone do for me, I'm grateful for it and I'm excited for it. Number nine, without sex, can a relationship grow strong? Yes. The person that I'm with now, like it don't, it's not all about sex. And that's what any relationship, it's not all about sex. Like get to know people. You don't always have to fuck like you fucking, y'all ain't getting to know each other. So yes, I feel like without sex, a relationship can grow strong. Number 10, do you believe lack of attention can cause you to fall out of love with someone? Yes, because if someone not giving you the attention that you're seeking, then what you gonna do? You're gonna seek it somewhere else right around. Okay, so why ask that question? Number 11, if you found out that your partner was seeing someone else, what would you do? Um, at the moment, if I found out my partner was seeing someone else, bitch, I'm gonna be feeling like that was a good thing. You feel me? But 
if I know from jump, like I've been straightforward, not doing anything, bitch, I'm gonna leave because I'm worth more than that. Like, why you cheated on me? Number 12, why do men hold onto women they don't want a relationship with? Because they know that woman is a good person and they don't want nobody else to have them. So they hold on to them as long as they can. Number 13, do you believe in sharing location with your partner? Hell no. Why the fuck do I have to share locations with you? No. And to me, that gives control. Number 14, why women fall in love with married men? Because they stupid. But no, my true, my true answer is you fall in love with a married man, never been there, never done that. But they fall in love with the married man because to be honest, the married man is doing everything in their power to get that woman. And then a married man is single. He, child hand married, he's single as fuck. He out here running the streets like he's single. So yes, that's why they fall in love because that nigga out here running around like he's single. Number 15, if someone gave you a box of everything you have ever lost, what is the first thing you will look for? My mother. Number 16, do you care about how many people your partner has slept with? No, that has nothing to do with me. Everybody has a fucking past and everybody been out here fucking. So no, I do not care about no motherfucker a motherfucker been with before me. Don't care. Number 17, do you believe in staying away from people who is cool with people who ain't cool with you because they play both sides? Well, I have two, two answers for that. One, I don't give a fuck if somebody that I'm cool with is cool with people who don't fuck with me. That's childish. I don't give a fuck. You can't control who be cool with who. But at the same time, I do know. I do know. If you coming back telling me all on people business, you're also telling my business. I do know that. Number 18, do you think it's rude to have sex when company is over? Yes, that's very rude. Wait, it depends on what kind of company. Are they there just visiting us for the day or they like spending the weekend with us? Because if they spend in the weekend, baby, and if we want to fuck, we gonna fuck. But if one people is spending a day with us and then we go off in a room and have sex, that is rude as fuck. Number 19, will a woman still cheat if she got a good man at home? I'm going to say yeah, because from my experience of what I have seen, I know for a fact, my stepdad was a good ass man and yeah, my mom still was cheating, so yeah. Number 20, free food stamps are free rent. Free motherfucking rent. The fuck? Who? Bitch, we can always, baby, you give me free rent, that mean I can eat as much as I motherfucking want to, so I'm gonna go with free rent. Shit, fuck them food stamps. Number 21, how are people okay with dating slash talking and sleeping with someone that's married and in a relationship with someone? I mean, you have the people out here going around acting like they single. So, I mean, what y'all want people to do? You have people that lie. Men lie, women lie. So, everybody is just lying. So, people be pretending that they're not in a relationship and be in a whole fucking relationship. And then the woman want to get mad or the girl want to get mad or the guy want to get mad with the person that they fucking with. Like, no, you don't know what that person I'm told that person. So don't get mad at the person. Get mad at the motherfucker that owes you that loyalty. For real, for real. I love these questions. Again, if you guys have any questions you want to send to me, you can email them to me at successfultoy at gmail.com or you can drop them down low in the comment. Thank you guys for the likes and the subscribes and the comment, the interaction. I am grateful for all that. Um, make sure you guys click on your notification button for when I post videos. And this has been the end of another 21 questions. Make sure to follow all my social medias, TikTok, Successful Toy, Facebook, I have two, LaFonda Blackman and Toy Blackman. And 
make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend and see y'all in the next video bye